Are you scared at all? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do not want to adult. I don't really know if I'm mentally and physically ready to adult or to go out there on my own, but I'm so excited, honestly. Because it's like, it's just new. It's like, I don't know. I'm just excited. I think it's a good space. It's a great place. I studied abroad, um, I think because, you know, obviously because I wanted to see the world, um, but on a deeper level, uh, I also wanted to practice my Spanish, learn Spanish, um, and maybe feel European, <laughs> as European as, as possible. How I see myself Your knuckles tucked beneath my I, just, I love the environment there. Like, I didn't travel much when I came here. Like, I barely traveled at all, mostly in Spain. But, like, I just love how I can, like, go to the mountains one day and take a trip there. I can go to the beach. I just have a lot of options here, and I really like that. To keep you far from me What if you don't love what you see? I'd hate to see you laugh at me Anyways, the way of life is just so... I love the city, um, and, and I love being around a lot of people that, you know, are, are constantly pushing and pushing and pushing culture and ideas and um, art forms and, uh, you know, I, I want to... I want it to be a part of that and possibly bring a piece of that home with me to the States. It's different here, just like being abroad, like there's different values, there's different cultural norms, like it's just like basically social norms, like you have to relearn everything and like how to like fit in with everybody else, like you don't want to like stand out from everybody else. And it's just like in America we operate a lot different than people here. So that was like a shock that I knew I was going to have, but I guess like experiencing it and thinking about it are two different things. Like this experience um, has allowed me to really appreciate um, some of the things that, that I had already maybe taken to, um, taken for granted, yes. I had taken, I had taken it for granted um, that I, I really appreciate now. stuff I thought I knew I didn't know and so like I just had to learn like it's okay to not know everything you're trying to communicate in Spanish be okay with not being in control all the time I think that was like something I learned here and I think very important and like it's now allowing me to like have such amazing experiences and meet new people just by learning like it's okay to like let go I, I think it made me happy to get a change in general. It just felt like I was just doing the same process at university and stuff, and I like finally got out of my comfort zone. And I like I found out that the way I'm happier personally is I just do things just on the fly, and I just have a good time with those. Like being more relaxed and just like learning that from myself that I can just do whatever I really put my mind to, and just like do things at the last second. And changing plans just really makes me feel better as a person. doing like more pushing myself out of the comfort zone I think like 
risks like they're either just really gonna like you're gonna learn that like you like doing something or it's really gonna mess you up and then like you're gonna have to like you learn from those mistakes so it's like i feel like either way just like doing something that like you think is right is gonna like it, it helps me I don't know, I just have like a whole new outlook on life and like so I feel like so much more positivity and like so much more happiness. Like I feel like I've gained being here and like, truly sad to leave in this place, you know, not like it's not like oh I can't wait to get home, it's like I'm sad, you know. The relationships I built, like with my host family and my friends here, it's just it's gonna be sad to like say goodbye to like this is just such a beautiful experience. Like I just wish I could just like live in these moments like forever like these are moments that like, i'm gonna remember for like the rest of my life never gonna forget see like this has made it worse because now i like want to travel all the time like i don't want to just stay in the states like i want to see so much like there's so much more to this world to see that i haven't seen and that's just something I really want to do now. I don't really, I'm not really pressed about what's gonna happen next, you know. There was one day where we just, we took a train to a, a town we've never been to and we started walking and walking and walking and we jumped a fence, we walked next to a highway for a while and and we found a river and and we walked along the river there's an old dude fishing and we were just having this wild wild day meantime you know um i know people back home are probably really stressing about their next exams and it, I, I'm, I just feel really lucky because um for a couple days of my you know of my life, I get to kind of just let loose a little bit and live in the present. You know, I I don't really get to do that in the in the states. Or I, I haven't really learned. I hadn't really learned how to do that in the states. So, um, yeah, I'm very very thankful for that. I think going up to Park Well, there's a park that's near Barcelona. If you don't know, and it's like this giant mountain that you can kind of go up for for free and when i got to like the top of that you can see all of barcelona i'm i really love those views and i like it just like made me like realize like i'm here and i'm like i'm doing my own thing i'm learning my own language like it's just crazy to me but i didn't know what it was like to actually like live in a different place and that was just like really cool to me to actually experience something new and i came i think i'm coming back with just like a new knowledge about like maybe i can live there and I can like, I know a language more now, so I feel more like, I guess like, cultured in that aspect. I guess I was very like, you get caught up in like this wave of just like people all just talking about getting futures and just like, just a lot of stuff that's like a little nerve wracking. And I feel like like, the analogy I use in Barcelona is kind of like when it's like, you kind of look back in your life and like, you know that, um that sport curling when like the the guy is like going and he just like lets go of the thing and just watches it go it's like that's kind of why it is my it's like i'm kind of looking at everything i have and i'm like you know what like it's not worth it to stress over all these things as much it's like just have like a good time with your life so it's like yeah i've definitely been chasing that like having that feeling inside of me it's like calming at the end of the day, like, I really look at America now in a whole different perspective. Like, after, after having been here and living here for months and, like, you know, really being immersed in the culture, like, it makes me want to live here. <laughs> like, it makes me want to move to Barcelona or move to Europe and, like, never look back because it's just... It's just a whole different vibe out here. Like, it's so hard to explain. Like, it just feels like much happier. Like, people are, like, content, like, with 
with their lives like they're not consumed by like greed or like you know money like I feel like we are in the states a lot and I don't know, I really like that I really like that atmosphere Twenty was kind of it's kind of crazy to me because it's like you're stepping into a whole new realm if that makes sense like a whole new world of like responsibility you're no longer a teenager it's sort of like that step into the real world and I'm really excited and I just have a lot of goals and aspirations I want to accomplish this year and a lot of work I want to put in so yeah It sounds like I, I sound like a hooligan, but I guess that's the the point of this broad, broad experience is to maybe get into, you know, the right the Goldilocks amount of hooliganry.